everybody it's been a long time since i picked up the camera but tomorrow is the first day of school it is a new semester and i just want to say that i'm excited i'm excited to see what this year brings it is officially 2024 and something just feels different like i see a lot of people say like 2024 feels like 2016 and i can agree like something is just in the air and i hope that this year that you guys complete your goals you set goals for yourself and you get there because i want all of you guys to know what you want to do in this world is possible but it doesn't take more than just luck it takes hard work determination and a sharp brain to keep you focused to keep you disciplined and i'm living proof that we can all do it if i could do it you could do it and yeah we're all capable god gave us capabilities and tune into your skills this year get to where you want to be i love school because i get to prove that i'm just not a cute face i'm a i'm a shark I love that I'm able to be smart because I feel like a lot of times, especially men and just in the society, a lot of people focus on looks and I appreciate looks, but I'm so glad that I have substance behind me because I just feel like that is more of a compliment to me. I want to be deeper than looks, but it is 2024. Welcome to my vlog. And this one boy told me like, you excited for school? And I didn't think I was until I see myself recording because now I'm seeing all this energy and clearly I am. It's the first day of school is first day feelings, first day back. And after this semester, I'm really about to be a 3L. Third year of law school is typically people's final year. I was part-time my first um, year, so I have a little bit more classes to catch up on, but I'm gonna try to graduate three years and a half or maybe that summer or something maybe that fall but yeah i'm not going the whole four years sorry but i just can't believe it and i'm so excited and law school law school law school if any of you guys want to be an attorney you could do it you could do it you could do it you could do it but yeah welcome to this vlog like comment and subscribe this is gonna be one of many so if you like law content subscribe because this is about to take over my channel <laughs> welcome to the first day of school i am so excited i am always excited for the first day of school because i love to know like who are my teachers who are the people i'm going to meet so welcome to law school this is the first time i've ever had like an adm class and i'm just like naya you could do this you could do this okay hey everybody welcome back right now i'm going to read for class it is 4 44 in the morning and I have one more case to go and I kind of just want to make sure I get out of the way. The good thing about this class is that we don't get cold called randomly. And cold calling is when a professor just chooses you to state a case and you have to state the facts, issue, rules, and the holding on the spot in front of the whole class, go through the entire case. And the good thing with this one class is that he tells us when we're going to go. So I'm going to read the case that has my name on it and make sure I know it thoroughly before class starts. I actually just grabbed the wrong book. This is how thick our one class book is. And this is one class. And on top of this class, he gave us a supplemental book just in case we need help. And normally supplemental books are these small little books that like kind of guide you through a book. I'm gonna show you guys the supplemental book. This is a supplemental book. This might as well be the real book. We have an interesting semester ahead of us. So, this is actually the book I was looking for. I'm taking a medical class this semester and it's like health policy and bioethics and kind of think that it's very cool. It shows you the issues between law and the medical field and cases that arise from that. I do have a planner to keep myself organized. Page 163. What I do before I read any case is I go on Quimby, which is this like website for law students and it kind of breaks down a case in video form. So I'm gonna watch the video and then I'm gonna read the case and then I'm gonna make my notes. I'm gonna IRAC. IRAC is when you write the issues, rule, analysis, and conclusion of the case, which the conclusion is to holding what the judge ultimately said, what the rule of law is. And um, yeah, that's it. A doctor told a little white lie. Ramona Humphers was unmarried when she had a baby girl in 1959. She gave the baby up for adoption. She brought claims for breach of a confidential relationship and invasion of privacy.
This is the case that I just did this morning. Very short because I'm only assigned to one case. In this class, it could be any case. So I have all my cases prepared to get called on. And yeah. my other class is real estate transactions. And it's a bar tested course, meaning that in the end, it's one of the things we get tested on in the Florida bar exam. After law school, there's a bar exam and you have to pass it. And there's core classes that you have to take as a law student, but then there's also other subjects that you can get tested on. So I'm making sure to also take my bar tested courses. And it sucks because not every bar tested course is something you want to do, something you're interested in. But this semester, I'm focusing more on what's required to pass the bar exam. And then once I take a good amount of bar exam courses, I'm going to start going back to like my classes that I actually know I'm interested in and want to pursue, which is entertainment and business. I'm really hoping that I can pick up internships soon, which is my goal. I'm going to start meeting people in entertainment and I'm just very excited for what this journey is going to bring me this semester. Also, I got to make sure I get my volunteer hours. It does not end after high school. It is 5.50. I'm about to leave right now actually because I don't know how traffic is leaving this early in the morning. I have never gone to school this early in the morning and I'm not afraid of my school campus being packed, which it usually is. I'm more afraid of traffic to get to school since 8 o'clock. My class really starts at 8.45, but 8 o'clock is just a time where like parents are dropping their kids off to school, people are going to school, people are going to work, and I don't want to get caught in that traffic. Also, a lot of people only think that law only has crime law. There's very much different branches of law. As you can see, I'm really taking real estate law, and there's people who go into real estate property in law school. There's people who go into like their housing in law school. There's people who go into um, entertainment and business like me. There's people who go into patent law. There's people who go into um, criminal defense. There's people who go into all kinds of different things. So don't think that law is limited to one thing. There's so many different branches. There's so many different fields. And I really think that's the beauty of law school and the beauty of the legal field is that we don't have to have our fate decided by one thing. And that's the only thing we could do for life. It's kind of like you have options to find your passion within law and you can really determine what you want to do. Even even with different interests you may have. Um, I love that about it. I feel like it keeps the field open, keeps the field very valuable. And I'm excited to go to my classes today. School does not start um, after the first day. School for us starts before the first day. The first day of school is the first day we go to class. It ain't the first day we start school. We be reading way before school starts. Um, we always have homework. We always have cases, but you just gotta be ready. And once you mentally decide that you take school seriously. You just go with the punches and you roll with it. So I'm about to go get ready. You're probably gonna catch me in the car, but welcome to my first day. Let's see how this goes. I still shake chills in this video. I keep it up, baby. Who gonna listen? Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Um, can I get dang, I really don't know. What's a good coffee drink to like wake you up? Do you know? Okay, so we got a few, but what kind of flavors do you like? That's where I like to start. Like, either like caramel, French vanilla, something along okay, those okay, lines. Okay. So we have iced or hot? Um, hot for right now. Okay, so we have lattes and macchiatos. So okay. That comes with, well, the latte has a one shot of espresso or double, depending on Okay. The and then your macchiato comes with two shots of espresso. Okay, so that's the straw. That's, yeah, that's, that's the straw. But which one's tastier? The latte, probably, right? Um, I mean, it depends, like... How you make it, in a way? Not even really. It's kind of like one's just more coffee forward and one's more milk forward. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. I'm not trying to also hold up the line <laughs> of people. No, um, you're fine. Take your time. Also. Um. But if you want it hot, I mean, if you're trying to wake yourself up, I would say a macchiato. It's not, like, extremely bitter or anything. It's just more... Okay. Nice Let's do it. Okay, everybody, so I'm not gonna give like a show of my classes until I do my day in the life of law school vlog, but I'm gonna give my thoughts on um, each class I go to. And I just came out of con law, so what I can say about that class is I very much like it. And they were scaring me because a lot of people are like, oh, con law is the hardest class in law school. It's a first year course, even though I'm not a first year student. It's my last first year course that I need to um, get through since I was part time in my first year. 
and then I'm done with the first year courses. But I've been taking other courses outside of first year. Yeah, I like it. It's based on the Constitution and how people interpret the Constitution, whether or not we should be interpreting the Constitution based on how it was originally made or whether society has evolved and we should be basing it on today's culture and today's climate and what the consequences of changing um, a constitution based on climate and making it making it basically a living document and what that can do and if that would undermine the trust in law or whether or not it's beneficial to do that so that the laws can kind of match what the era today is in so it's just a very interesting way to see how the laws come alive and the different perspectives that come from you know basically the government okay everybody so i'm officially back home i just got home and completed all my classes I'm a little drained, so excuse the energy. But I just want to say about my last classes is that I think it's really going to be a good semester. Um, like I said, I like con law. After that, I had an online class, and it was very relaxed. I kind of like the energy that the professor gives. And that class kind of just shows, like, the discrepancy and the issues that relate to, like, healthcare and the law and for certain minorities, for certain groups, for certain races. So I really like that because I can apply it. Clearly I'm a minority. I wanna know how to remove the barrier between healthcare, between law, between anything. Anything I could do to help people, even though I know I'm going into like entertainment, I still take on those classes because it could be your family, it could be your friends, it could be the people you know, and I always wanna be able to provide people with information. And my last class is a real estate transactions class. I'm actually pleasantly surprised that I don't find the class to be too bad. It's with one of my favorite professors, so yeah. But on top of it, um, it's actually kind of made me interested in real estate, especially because they're teaching you about buying homes and things like that and things to look for. And it's kind of good because one day I will be owning a home. So the reason why I really like law is because all these classes are applicable to real life and your own life. So as much as I take knowledge to give to clients and future clients and to friends and family once I'm an attorney for legal advice, it also very much benefits me. So yeah, I love it. And yeah, I hope you guys continue to watch me on this journey. Stay tuned for an actual law vlog. But this was my first day and I hope you guys had a good first day. I'm about to actually go join a Zoom meeting for a service event I'm about to be a part of and kind of learn what I need to do. So. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you had a blessed and amazing day. God bless you.